Hey y'all! Hey y'all! So today I'm back with a foundation concealer review. Um, I'm just gonna jump into this. So today I'm um, reviewing the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Foundation in the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. Get it in two shades. The shade I got at first, I just took it back. It was horrible. Um, it was four eighty five. So now I'm trying five oh five, and I, the concealers that I picked up was Amber three eighty five and Toffee four oh five. So I'm assuming, cause this is easy. just say five oh. Fab, but I believe they're supposed to match because I think this is toppy. So it's supposed to be matchy matchy because I did get amber. No, I got four. Whatever. I thought, I don't know. The names and the colors are all for me personally. So let me do what I normally do. Let's moisturize with this set of feel. How has y'all 2019 been going? 2019 been going. Mine's been going all right. Just trying to find my way. It's normally how I do. It's like I'm starting off with a lot of stuff in my life right now. So I often like kind of like pull back to reflect and to kind of like see what's really going on. That's all that I'm doing. I'm not like neglecting y'all at all. Next, I'm going to my favorite primer at the moment, the Rimmel. Palima. Did y'all know I have a giveaway going on on Instagram right now? I'm primed and moisturized. Now I'm going to go into the foundation. Just. Ugh. Okay. So, I bet the thing that I love the most is the bottle and the pump is so cute he even has a pump and i think it's eleven dollars this foundation is eleven dollars which isn't bad pump in it back of my hand i probably pumped too much and i'm gonna apply it the way that i've always that i like playing it um brush or uh sponge i can't find my morphe sponge so we're gonna do Brush and uh, it's a little orange. My camera looks really good, and again, with the fragrance, they are killing me softly. But I'm glad I went back and took the other shade back because this looks really good. I like it, I like it already. Now, do I like the wear? Oh, I like it real good. Oh. Ooh, y'all see? Let me tell me. Okay, so this is that with the foundation. Put a little more. Oh, it is fresh. Does it supposed to say fresh wear? Yeah, fresh. My skin look just woke on this side. My skin look woke. This side. My skin look real woke. Okay. Now, this hope that it's stable. Do y'all see this? Let me put some on my lip. Mm -hmm. So y'all can really just focus on the difference. Like, are you kidding me? Is y'all seeing this? <sighs> okay, let me do the rest of this. Do y'all see this? I know y'all see this. <clears throat> And if I like it with this brush, imagine how I'm going to feel with the sponge. I'm going to have to come back. And I want to say it's medium. Medium buildable coverage. And I don't put foundation on my head. They say this oxidized. I've heard a couple people say that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
but I don't know. I keep looking up here in my mirror and it's just, it's flooring, like flooring me. It is red, I can tell. I had like little redness in me, but mostly yellow. Don't think about it. I like I like the match that is matching. Okay. So here's my problem with foundations. Either it matches, matches my skin on the outside, but it does not match my undertones underneath me. So this is like a mixture. It matches me perfectly on the outside, but it has like hint of red in it. And so like the, the best thing for me when those situations arise is just to have a yellow um to have a yellow concealer so hopefully this concealer is yellow enough but i am floored i am lost for it i know i like to be cake cake so i'm gonna put a little more foundation in my um jaws <clears throat> jaw area probably like two two pumps oh and um it is really running but that's good for um, dry skin people because uh, it's not gonna sit in your face. It's not gonna be so thick. Not um, and I kind of prefer a liquidier foundation in glass form versus a thicker foundation. This is it's not gonna cling that much to my skin, y'all. Mm mm. Y'all showed that L'Oreal. I thought the L'Oreal True Match was my favorite. Baby. Mm. They showing out, baby. They showing out. Okay, now I went to concealers. I think 405 Caramel. It said Toffee. Did it say Caramel? I don't know. Toffee. Um, let, let's just try it out. This is like perfect. If I don't want to highlight. It's like matchy matchy. Just like a little. Um, it's a little bit lighter. Than me. Okay. Is they kind of, um, they trying to dupe the shape tape. Like this is the shape tape bottle. This is the L'Oreal bottle. I see like reading tarts of filth. They got the same doe foot applicator. Like this is L'Oreal. This tart at the bottom. They reading them to feel baby. That's the same. That's the same thing. Trying to get people cheaper alternatives. Okay, L'Oreal. Let me find out. Okay, but anyway. Now I'm going to use 385. Oh, yeah, this is my highlight. Oh, yeah, this is my, this is my highlight. For sure, this is going to be my highlight. For sure, for sure. So I'm just going to put this in the center. Yeah, I'm going to start blending out this concealer. Blend out this concealer. Uh, well, that's so pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. I need to go give me a sponge, but I like it. Yep. Who loves L'Oreal? Keita loves L'Oreal. Is it true? I do, I do, I do. Mm. It feels like I'm not gonna have to set this um, concealer. And I love that. I'm about it. Cause powder, powder sometimes does a lot. I really like my face. Who the hell else like my face? I like it. Yeah, see? Ugh. It's a face powder. And I'm gonna sit my whole face lightly. 
that's okay. It's okay to do this if you have dry skin. This right here just reinforces. Like we can't use loose powder as much. So what this does is reinforces um the foundation and stuff into our skin. Like this is this is our this is people with drier skin. This is alternative to um loose powder if you notice that your skin looks weird or not like you want it. Now <clears throat> I will still use loose powder. Like there's nothing wrong with loose powder for dry skin. You just have to find a technique that works for you. So now I'm just gonna chisel my cheek a little more. I just feel like extra today. Extra, extra, extra. Read all about it. So guys, this is my final, final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, let me run down the specs. I really like this whole new line from L'Oreal. The only thing is, is like shades. Like that's just the only thing that some companies mess up with. In shades, like, but they have really good formula, really good product, something that a consumer would re-buy or reconsider a favorite. Would I really love the way that this see on my skin? Look, even after the bronzer, even after the uh contour, even after the highlights on the skin, little to no powder on the skin, and it looks so oh. Amazing. Look how beautiful that looks. That is raw. Raw, raw, raw. Raw footage. Raw. And it looks so oh, amazing. I know this contour could be a little better. But that's beside the point. But this looks amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And this might be my favorite foundation of 2019 already. So we're going to wear it a couple more times. We're going to use these concealers. These heart shape tape dupes make it a darker color to contour with but yes yes l'oreal l'oreal fresh wear this uh-huh this right here you need it you need it you need it you need it because at first i was giving up hope when I first put that first brown um, 485 on my face, I was like, oh, 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 no, 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 no. But 505 is, uh, it's okay, it's decent, but it looks really good. I love the formula of this foundation. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And I love the way that this play is. If you go see these, because I think it's on like 16 shades. Normally, L'Oreal is like 16, maybe 20. The only one that has a lot is the L'Oreal True Match. This is the only one of them all that has like a lot of shades. This for everyone. But this right here, I think it's going to give True Match a run for its money. Once they expand the shades. But in the store, the displays that I've seen, it has like the lighter the pale light category then it has like the medium which i mean sometimes and then it has like the deepest darkest and with the deep colors it was some deep colors okay so yeah like they are really stepping it up with the deep the chocolate babies now playing with these brands they snatching you know what i'm saying snatching up better call them like look i don't want to be red and then I want to have to put on 12 concealers to change the color of your foundation. But <laughs> that's not neither here or there. But anyway, I like it. I like it. I like it. I, like I know I'm doing a lot of rumbling, rumbling, mumbling, pummeling. But I like it. I like it. This year is starting off really, really good for me. I hope it's starting off really, really good for you. And if you want a free makeup palette, I have a giveaway going on right now. The Queen of Hearts palette it's by Color Brand, brand brand new, brand brand new. It's still in the package, it's still new. I have not opened this one. I have one of my own, and I will be doing a tutorial with that and just keep on refreshing y'all about this giveaway. So I'm gonna leave everything that you need to do down in the description box below because I don't want to overwhelm the video and I don't want to put giveaway in the um title because I don't want unsolicited people coming i just want natural people coming people who actually honestly you know like my content like 
in one wing palette for free. A good palette, a high end palette, an indie brand palette. Okay, so I thank you guys so 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 very much. And let me know in the description box, let me know in the comment section, do you guys like this foundation? Have you guys tried this foundation? Is this something that you're willing to try? Like, you know, let me know. And if you do, let me know your thoughts on it. So you can head over to Instagram and follow me. Insta these bomb pictures that I'm going to post because you know I'm going to post them. And uh, what else did I want to say to y'all? I don't know. I just got to come back because I miss y'all. And I always say, I don't, don't want to get cliche. I don't. But this foundation is bomb. That's why I, I'm, I'm still on here because it's bomb. And I love the way that I freaking look. Like, flawless. I'm flawless. Okay? And if anything changes, I will come back and be like, yeah, uh-uh. They tricked me. They lied. If they have not so I promise I'm going to come back. And I'm going to mention this to y'all. But if everything is good, then this will be the last of me until the next video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up this video. Comment. And don't forget to subscribe. I know a lot of y'all watch my videos. And I bet y'all be like, dang, where is that Rakita girl? Word, you know, you gotta say somebody's name like three or four times to remember it. And then you probably didn't say my name out loud. He was like, oh man, I ain't even subscribe. So to keep all that from happening, go and subscribe. And until next time, beautiful people, bye.